All right, all right. Good morning, good peoples of the world, and welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. We had a nice little, nice little break there. I think a couple people even mentioned it in the uh, in the chat. Um, and we are back, ready to go. Although I must tell you guys, one of the first things that we have to talk about is that um, what's up, Colin? Blimey! Um, is that it is fall. <clears throat> And because it is fall, we, I, me, meaning we as in me and my other, uh, like to take advantage of fall. And there's only one day a week end that she has off, and that is Saturday. So Saturdays, uh, if you notice on the schedule, have been kind of hit or miss. You know, obviously last weekend I was on a trip. And then um, Next Saturday, if you look, there is no stream. I actually had Scott K uh, on that, and then I moved him or bumped him to Monday. And so we have Sunday open right now, but no Saturday. Because next week we're going to go take another trip because it's going to be at this moment. Uh, this has been kind of the uh, spell of weather for the last couple of years since I've been back to the United States. Is that late September and most of October is cold as fuck, which it was. Um, <clears throat> on my bill, it said that... Last year's average temperature during this time in October was uh, 68 degrees. And the average temperature of this time was 60 degrees. That is a huge change. And even last year was kind of cold. So, and then November gets to be like warm. Because I remember last November being like, oh, dude, are we in spring, like September? And I'm looking at the forecast and next week is supposed to be like 65, 68, 71. And then it said Friday is 73 right now. So we're going to see how that's going to happen. So with the good weather, I've got to get out and go do stuff. So we're going to go do stuff next week um, as well as today after this um, uh, live stream is over. We're going to go try to go um, do a couple things because it's supposed to be somewhat nice weather today too. It's actually like 65 or 66 or something like that. So that is number one. So... Just for the fall, there might be a couple Saturdays where either we don't do a stream or I do it earlier or something like that. So just keep in mind, remember the schedule is always on um, the Excel doc that we have in the description of each video. So if you go down there and you click on it, I already have it updated to who's going and what date. So just go and check that out. Um, <clears throat> the other thing is, I think that uh, Jason brought up having a discord and if you set that up jason i think that's actually an excellent idea and even though colin says he doesn't give a shit about discord some other people when we have like a break like this i mean it's been two weeks since we've done a stream almost maybe you guys can talk and share music or do whatever you do and have like your own thing and then i can join as well during the week so jason i'm giving you the two thumbs up to go start that discord maybe put it in here so that uh Everybody can, you know, go join that who wants to. Um, just don't be butthurt if people don't want to. Um, and keep that in mind. Third thing, as you notice, um, I'm trying to, I started a little bit early because we got to get done with this set. <laughs> because Ohio State starts at 12. And today we play Penn State, which uh, everyone's just going to, this is what I hate about college football fans or people, especially you don't really understand college football or football in general is everyone's thinking in their head, well, Shittigan, who is as good or not as good as Ohio State, crushed Penn State like 42 to whatever it was. So Ohio State is, you know, Penn State sucks. They're not going to be, you cannot just create apples to apples like that with two different teams in two different weeks. Um, Matchups make everything that's in fighting, that's in basketball, that's in baseball, that's in soccer. And in this case, for whatever reason, Penn State always gives Ohio State problems. This is by no means going to be an easy game for Ohio State. This could be a potentially every single year, even when they're bad, we have gone into the fourth quarter with them up only by a score. So if we somehow destroy them today, it's going to be totally not the ordinary. They will play us tough. They always play us tough. And just because Shittigan beat them so well doesn't mean anything. So... Uh, today is going to be a tough game. I'm a little nervous about it. So right after this, it starts at 12. So that's why we're going to get through this. And then I have to go to the game and start, uh, you know, worrying. Uh, Ohio State is not at home. We are at Penn State. The only thing is we did get lucky because 
they have their whiteout game, I think either last week or next week. So we don't have to play them in a whiteout, which is one of the reasons playing in the whiteout, I think is one of the hardest uh, night games to play in, in college football. Um, but we play them at noon. I'm sure they're still going to be amped about it, but uh, it's going to be a tough game. So, all right. Uh, the fourth thing, which is the last thing, is I have told Timothy Curry several times that uh, I was going to do shots on uh, live stream because he paid for me to do shots. And I just haven't done it, mostly because I didn't have the liquor to do it. Um, I didn't want to do shots of Disserano because Disserano is a mixer. It's not like something you shoot. But here we are with our trusty Chamisul. Chamisul is how you say it, which is one of two popular brands of soju in Korea. The other one is Chorum Chorum, and this is Chamisul. So Chamisul. Uh, shot should be good because it's not that bad and I've said it on here before and I'll say it again I fucking hate soju soju the only time I can even deal with soju is if it's like really really cold and I'm eating it with meat uh, like barbecue Korean barbecue otherwise it literally tastes like chemicals that's why I don't like it but it is see right here where it says number one spirits in the world it actually is not lying when it says that because there is more soju sold in the world alcohol by volume by three times than any other alcohol, including vodka, including all that other stuff. Why? Because it's so cheap and two, because Koreans drink it like fish. So it's kind of crazy. So you're going to see so that you don't think that I'm lying that I'm going to pour this. Oh, that's like at the very top. <laughs> so... Timothy, here is shot one of two. I want to say, notice it's my Ohio State shot glass. Yes, yes. Uh, and here's to Ohio State hopefully not giving me a freaking heart attack today. Ugh. Dude, I'm telling you. Ugh, soju just tastes like fucking chemicals. <laughs> if there are any Korean people or people who drink soju on here, you should know what I'm talking about. But everybody fucking loves it in Korea. Well, a lot of people love it in Korea. Um, it's Korean water, like vodka is Russian. Uh, I wouldn't call it water. Uh, uh, although this is, so sake is kind of like water, but it has like a taste. It, it tastes very watery. It's also like 10% alcohol, which is obviously Japanese. This is the Japanese form of sake. And this is almost double the potency. So it doesn't take, that's where the water kind of leaves. You kind of taste the chemical and you taste the alcohol in, in this. Whereas in, I think sake is actually kind of pleasant to drink sometimes. Soju is not. And I would never call vodka uh, Russian water. In, in, in the sense, maybe that, uh, that, yeah, they drink it like fish. That could be true. Coffee to mash that shit down. All right. So, um, Let's get into this. Um, I I don't know, <laughs> Jason. I don't know why you always have to spoil the uh, the surprise for everybody. It's like you're like a kid at Christmas when I was young. I guess I was this kid when I was young, or at least my sister and my brother tell me that I was like this. That I would always ruin the presents if I knew what they were, so they would not tell me what the presents were because I would tell them what the present was before they could open it. You're kind of that way, Jason, but you're an adult, so you should stop doing that and not telling people that. <laughs> what the set is before it is you just let them deal with it once it's there um but anyway it looks like we got the regulars here i'm gonna say hi to all and we're gonna get into the set so let's go all right so this is what jason says after the last time i shared some anime songs i searched long and hard for some rock and metal songs to share that hopefully could get to see what or hopefully could get you to see what i see in music as i researched i found out that japanese metal is called kawaii Kawaii, I think it's Kawaii. Uh, metal, and thus mostly still has the same feel as J-pop, but is harder depending on the band or the song because in Japan, the idol singer is still the most popular type of music. By the way, I know this isn't completely related other than Japanese. Um, that Dur in Grey uh, video that we did uh, set, I, I, I think it's I think it has over seventeen hundred views already. And my, my videos, live streams usually get 300, and this has like 1,700, and I just did it a couple weeks ago. 
people i didn't know durin gray was that popular uh but they certainly are kind of like the uh Whenever I do Devin Townsend, whenever I do Opeth, those videos always get 1,700 to 2,000 views, and Durin Gray is already there. So uh, I didn't know that they were that popular, but kind of cool. Um, also, like the last time, though, I will add on a description of the anime. The song went into the case. Wait, what? Uh, I got to read your writing again. Also, like last time, though, I will add on a description of the anime, the song, you're writing, dude. You gotta, you gotta write better. <laughs> Want to, in case any of the music makes you interested in checking the anime out. Okay. Yeah, you you wrote a couple extra words in there that made that really hard to read. I tried hard, but one of the songs I could not get the lyrics. But I will throw in a link that maybe Cap can share so you can see the lyrics as the song plays. I endeavored also to give you a taste of the anime and the song videos as well, but not all of them had both lyrics and parts of the anime, so I focused on lyrics where I could. All right, so here we go. First one. This is The Brilliant Green. Ash Like Snow is the song name. It says this song is the second opening theme to Gundam 00. I have no idea what that fucking means. I'm probably pronunciating it wrong pronunciating it wrong a typical mech anime mesh anime mech anime it's ch i don't know if that's ch or k anime like robotech and macross dude you are speaking a fucking other language i have no idea what you're talking about um a typical mech 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 anime like robotech and macross that has heavy political tones and the bleakness of war while exploring the lives of teens thrust into this world. The vocalist doesn't belt out like most anime openings, but I feel it fits the style better for dramatic and depressive theme of the show. All right, so this is the brilliant green ash like snow. Here we go. Okay. There's that like Oh, okay, like mechanic. Got it. I don't know what it is, but this first one is always putting it backwards. I tried to flip it, but it won't let me flip it. It's actually got some like... I feel like this is actually more of a pop song than it is like an anime song that I typically hear. Or I failed. Let's see if I can change it. Hmm. Okay, that went to the other side. Huh. It's like it's mirroring or something. I don't know why I can't change it. What the fuck? <laughs> Weird. I'm trying to change it, but it won't change. I actually like the song, though. It's kind of like a poppy feel. Yeah. I'm clicking it and won't let me click it to the left. Properties, let's see. It's weird. I'm looking at the properties, and on the properties, it's right. It's exactly right. 
but the way it's showing on the screen is not. That's odd. Jason, I'm sorry, I tried to change it and on my screen it shows that it's the same, that's normal, but on here it's showing backwards. I don't know why. I would think that Colin would actually like this. It's got that, obviously not speed metal, but it's got more of that da 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 da. don't mind the song. I'm not even joking. I don't think I would put it on a playlist, but... But it's like more of a poppy feel than what I'm used to hearing with anime. <laughs> Inoffensive. Nice way to put it, Colin. Gonna go into it. All right. Uh, yeah, I can't explain it, but I have noticed that that particular one always turns the thing around. But usually, it doesn't matter because we're not, you know, listening to lyrics or whatever. So maybe I'll try to fix that to the next one and just see why it does that. I don't know why it does it. But again, when I pop up the properties and it shows the little box of how I can change stuff, it shows it perfect like it's normal. But for some reason, when I hit OK, it changes it to uh, backwards for whatever reason. Your aunt Hiromi. Hiromi is Japanese. She's single too and looks great. If any of you gents are single too and want to come down to Missouri and spit game. How old is she? If she's your aunt, she's probably older than me or my age. Huh? And just because you're single, why, why do you have to be single to spit game? Can't you, uh, is she traditional? <laughs> and if she's your aunt, isn't she married too? <laughs> uh, yeah. You know me. If Hiromi's... Hiromi. Let's do it. So, yeah, actually, I'm going to say, Jason, I don't, you know me, I don't really like anime, but that song was more like a pop song to me. It didn't seem like the, I guess, typical anime that we've heard or that I expect when I hear the word anime for music. So, yeah, I wouldn't put that on a playlist because it's still that kind of cheese enough that uh, is enough for me not to put it on that. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, let's, hold on a second, my thing got messed up. Let's put the chat back on. There we go. All right. <laughs> Embrace the cheese. I don't know, man, it's really hard. That's one of the reasons I can't get into speed metal, too, because speed metal and neoclassical music just gets too much into the cheese for me to really just accept. I can accept a little cheese, obviously, like... <laughs> People would say, like, Dream Theater's ballads are cheesy, but that's the kind of cheese I can handle. 80s music is cheesy, but I can handle that cheese. But this kind of cheese is harder for me to, to, to swallow. <clears throat> Just saying. Uh, she was married, but her and my uncle got divorced several years ago. Hiromi and I still have a good relationship because she's known me since I was little. She's in her early 50s. Hey, that's, but that's typical. All freaking Asian girls, including my other half looks way younger than they are and until they get to a certain age when they get to like 65 it's like it's like a flip of the switch and they just get really looking old but until then they look really young so yeah scott if you come up to uh missouri is not that far from ohio come up and we can uh party all four of us <laughs> all right um let's get to the next song which is back on this is chain oh what just happened uh, back on chain okay 
the opening to the extreme motorized rollerblading anime air gear. That right there says cheese to me, but we'll see. The song has sort of the feel of the 90s, early 2000s pop punk songs, okay? In air gear, you follow the life of Itsuki Minami-san. You have to say San at the end of their names, by the way. I do work for a Japanese company. As he enters the world of motorized rollerblade, <laughs> motorized rollerblading, as he finds out that the freedom he seeks is threatened by the rival gangs and corporations all bent on controlling sections of Tokyo with their skills in the sport of using their air gear. <laughs> this is so funny. This is called Back on Chain. Here we go. Is it? Oh, and it's correct. Sounds really muddy. Sounds really, really muddy. Is it supposed to sound like that? It does have that pop punk feel to it. Dude, this sounds like like Lincoln Park or something. See if I can see the I can't speak Japanese, but I, if I can see it, I kind of know Japanese or Korean are like cousins. Hey, Jason, nice job on the lyrics, buddy. Yeah, it totally sounds like a <laughs> Lincoln Park and a sushi restaurant. <laughs> Ooh, I like a shit just shit. Okay, there we go. Why are you all blurry, bitch? Yep, Korean and Japanese languages are kind of like English and Spanish. They're different enough that you don't know what they're saying, but there's some words that kind of transition. Because they both come from Chinese. <laughs> Yeah, this definitely sounds like that pop punk that you were discussing. <laughs> Is that what you said to your wife, Colin? You shouldn't call her a bitch. She might not give you any more uh, twins. Where the fuck is Paravarium? What the hell? Maybe he forgot about us. <laughs> Scott. Cucumber. Yeah, we're Scott K too. Maybe people have forgotten about us. Maybe we lost a few. Adrian, what's the uh, weather like there? Are you able to play golf this weekend again? If it wasn't going to rain tomorrow, I'd go play golf. Because the weather temperature is nice enough. I'll th I mean... I think that was the end. If it wasn't, let me tell me and I'll go back and uh, start it over. Uh, I'm going to be honest. These songs, at least these two songs, are immensely better than the first set that you picked, Jason. This, I mean, I don't... <clears throat> Again, I would not put this music on a playlist and listen to it for fun. But it's certainly, the first one had that like poppy feel that's not cheesy cheesy it was cheesy but not too cheesy 
this one had definitely more of a normalized sound. When I think anime, I just think totally cheesy. And I felt like your first set of this was kind of like that. But this definitely has more of like a normal-esque feel. So I'm going to say between the two, that is a tough one. Yeah, I might I might pick 2-1. Because at least this one had like a... Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Like it had like a melody that you could follow along with and it's stuck in my head, obviously. But it sounds like I'm on the uh, the outskirts for this one because, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, everybody else is choosing one too. Oh, it looks like Adrian's going to go golf in the cold. I cannot golf when it's 50 and rain. Hell no, that's a waste of 40 bucks for me. Would pass on that one. All right, so let's get to the third one. The third one is... Lisa, but it's spelled L-I capital S-A. I don't know why they do that, but can you explain that, Jason, in the chat? Is there a specific reason it's spelled L-I capital S-A for Lisa? Is it supposed to mean something? Crossing Field is the name of the song. This one is the more poppy of the songs chosen, but I think that it has a rock feel with the guitar in the background and the solo in the middle. Okay, we got a solo. That's good. The anime called Sword Art Online is about a boy named Kirito Kirigaya-san who enters the world of the truly immersive VR game Sword Art Online. <laughs> I just do not understand this. Only to find that he and every other player are trapped inside it due to the creator of both the Nerve Gear the headset, whatever that means, and the game they are playing. Locking their consciousness in a real fantasy world where death in the game means death in real life. Sounds like the Matrix. Their only goal is to make it to the 100th level of the main world's castle tower to free themselves and everyone else still alive at the end of it. At the end of this set list, like Colin, me, <laughs> I have a cover of one of the songs I attempted to do a lyric video for but couldn't do to my lack of knowledge. Interesting. Okay. So this is Lisa crossing field. Sounds like the Matrix. Here we go. There's that. Ooh. That was a cool bass line. What's up, Scott K? Oh, here's the lyrics at the bottom. Definitely a cool bass line in the background. Listen to the bass. <laughs> Half time. Cast my fickle heart into disarray. And remember, Jason is really about the lyrics, so pay attention to the lyrics. Slumbering feeling. And become aware of my weak self as long as you're here with me. Oh, uh, oh that was kind of... What's up, Sasha? It's the theme, Scott K. Ooh, halftime. Little groove. Look at this bass player, dude. Give props to the bass player, motherfucker. That bass player is rolling. <laughs> Colin, that's a good point. I want to talk about that after this with Korean music. Bass. Any plus to the bass player in this song? Holy shit!
and he's kind of in the background, but you can really hear what he's doing. Half time. Uh. Definitely my favorite song of the three. Even though it's cheesy and it's poppy, the bass player alone gets my vote. Ooh, solo. Seriously, the bass player gets my fucking vote. He's rolling. To that. It's like you're doing a walking bass line in the background. I would love to play bass for this song. Oh, interesting, Scott. Why is it hated? Because the song got so overplayed, people hated it, like happens with pop music. Adrian. <laughs> uh, it's hated because it's popular. That happens with a lot of pop music. But the end? Guess so. Or maybe not. I was just about to click it. I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> Dude, my thing looks crooked over here. I need to fix it. Uh, so what is this? Why is there no screen? Is it just background music? Oh, shit, I can't take it off the well. Okay, it sounds like a commercial, so I'm going to go back. All right, so again, I placed that one first. Hey, what's up, Omar? Because um, specifically the bass line alone, that dude was fucking smoking. That dude was absolutely smoking. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's really not much else to say. It kind of fits in the anime. I did like how they broke it up into halftime. I can see why that song is popular, but I still won't put it on a playlist and listen to that on my own. But nonetheless, I'm glad that I'm exposed to it. And again, even though you have the lyrics up here, Jason, and I know you love lyrics, uh, it's hard for me to kind of pay attention to that and other stuff. So uh, <clears throat> when I go back and listen to these songs a second time, like I promise you, I always will. I will pay attention more to the lyrics because I don't have to worry about chat to you bastards either. So, all right. Um, yeah, that brings us to the next one. I do want to say before we get into the next song that uh i did miss you guys i missed you guys that was that two weeks is quite a quite a long time so um and i do want to just go over real quick who's up on the list um so let's see uh tomorrow why didn't oh yeah colin i wrote you an email about tomorrow's set so you should uh check that email um because your fifth song is a little uh ambiguous and i don't know what to do with it so colin is tomorrow sunday and then on Monday, uh, during Halloween, which happy Halloween, folks, ironically, as I've said, I knew would happen. We've had pretty good weather for the last like week. Rain is coming in tomorrow. And guess what? Monday. They think the rain is going to be done by Halloween trick-or-treating time, but I will not be surprised if it's not because I've been back in the United States for almost two or two over two years and both Halloweens, it's been pouring here. And of course, rain is going to be coming on Monday for Halloween. No other day. And then the day after that, Tuesday, and the rest of the week is sunny with no rain. How ironic. But that is going to happen. But happy Halloween. So on Halloween, we have another top 40s. I don't know. I think I'm going to re-record that tomorrow and, and have it play. So if I'm giving out candy, I can still give out candy if kids come and still watch it for you guys. Um... So I'll probably record that and not be live for that. So we'll have to see how that goes. Or maybe I won't have time to do that. And then uh, next Sunday, because remember I told you we don't have one next Saturday because I'm going on another little Saturday thing. Um, next Saturday or Sunday is Scott K. And then James U, I'm not going to say his name because just in case he doesn't want me to say his name, 
has Monday, next Monday. And then we don't have anything right now. Um, let's see how I have this. Uh, we don't have anything right now for Saturday or for Sunday, November, or Saturday or Sunday, November 12th. But we do have um, John Feedy on November the 14th because he couldn't go on Saturday or Sunday because he's at a wedding. So he'll be, I mean, that November 14th is quite a long, long way. So that is the schedule. Again, you can go look at that. Um, and I did want to say, and I'll say this again, Colin, I'm going to give you the prize for the most unique and cool set list. Because your set lists are just very creative. I like it. I give you total credit. You are the most creative set list maker on the channel. And I think that's really cool. So uh, his set's coming up. He just turned in another one, which I'll probably put on that next Saturday or the 13th or 12th, depending on probably the 13th, because that's Colin usually likes Sundays. So we'll tr probably do that. Um, wait, I'm going to sit in the camp with Joe. Who replied to me, Cap? Who? Okay, I'm just looking at the, uh, okay, I'm lost. All right, I'll have to go back and read, but let's get on the next one again. Oh, we have the same band, uh, Lisa. So I'm hoping that this bass player absolutely smokes on this one as well. I do not know how to say this name. It's, it's G-U-R-E-N-G-E. Gerenge? 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 I don't know how to, if it's silent or not. Another song by the incredible Lisa. This is the opening theme to the anime... Demon Slayer. Tanjiro Kamado-san is a boy who lives in Japanese village during the few years before the Japanese Industrial Revolution with his family, okay? After resting for the night in a cottage, after going out to sell the charcoal his family makes to sell to nearby villages, he comes back to a bloody scene as his family laid there slaughtered, save one, his sister Nezuko. Now believing the story of demons attacking people in the night, he trains with an old swordsman on a mountain to fight the demons who not only slaughtered his family, but reigned terror over the night in hopes to bring an end to the senseless violence. Man, the Japanese have a freaking uh, imagination that they do. All right, so here we go with Lisa, however you say the freaking title. <laughs> Yeah, Colin, I did get the set list. That's what I was just referring to. Peace out, Adrian. Renge. Sounds good, Colin. I'll put you on that Sunday. Bass player isn't ripping it as much. Okay, like the heavy part. Bass player certainly was better in the last one. Nice. They really like that halftime break. Hear that? What's up, Asma? A cosmos, however you say it. How do you? Cosmos, like cosmos. 
Oh, sounds like he knows some anime. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I thought it was a band. I mean, they are called... So Lisa is the name of the girl. Got it. I didn't know that. Listen to that bass, though. It might be the same bass player. But before, he didn't have room to play around. I'll definitely say this girl, or this band, is the best out of the ones I've heard. Listen to that bass. Again. I, th I bet it's the same bass player. Yeah, J-pop and K-pop are worse than even American pop. Ooh. Ah, I see Jason, that's interesting. Why would they both call themselves Lisa? Is that like a popular name for anime or something? Sasha's a pervert. He's German. All Germans are perverts. All right. guess that's the end of that one. Um, I didn't like that as much as the last one, but I definitely liked it more than the first two. I can see why maybe this girl, this band, whatever, is more popular because they, they definitely have better writing skills and more, again, even though I don't really like it that much, much more to the code of writing music where... When I typically think of anime, I think it's too out there. Um, shaming the whole nation? How am I shaming the whole nation? <laughs> uh, that's interesting. Uh, Omar, why did you like that more than the third one? Um, yeah, I'd be interested because I definitely thought the one before that, the baseline, was way better. Um yeah, so what do you mean shaming the whole nation? What did I say that was shaming the whole nation? I didn't get that. Um, so yeah, uh, that one sounded very similar. Definitely by the same band or whatever, girl. Um, but definitely like the third one because of the bass line, I think, better. All right, so we have two more songs up here. No, we have three more songs. Um, this is TM Revolution, and the song is called Resonance. Sadly, this is the one song I couldn't get lyrics for, nor get a video that could show you some of the anime, as the quality of the song wasn't great. I settled for this, as it is the best audio quality of all the videos. Soul Eater is an anime about a teenager named Maka Alburn who lives in a world where evil souls become monsters, and in order to fight them, some people form bonds between a person who can transform into a weapon called Death Scythe. Uh, how do you ever say that? Seeth, Sith, uh, and their uh, wielders called Meisters in order to fight these monsters. At the Academy for Training These Scythe, Sith, uh, however you say it, damn it, S-C-Y-T-H-E-S. -E I know I should know how to pronunciate that, but I don't. And Meisters. The Shinigami death, as in the Re Reaper, assigns tasks to these teens to both strengthen their bonds and help keep the peace in this world. So this is TM Revolution. The song is Resonance. And uh, Jason, you should be happy because I arranged it so that we could watch the lyrics as well. So here we go. Number, is this number four? Now this is one, two, three, four. This is number five. Okay, number five. Here we go. Ah, uh, look at that, Jason. I hooked you up. <laughs> I love how Scott Cucumber McCumber had to... Uh, it's kind of small, but I can read it. Yeah, 
dude. I, you guys are literally speaking a different language. Yeah, definitely don't like this as much as the last two songs. Maybe it's because his voice. Yeah, this is typical of what I think of when I think of anime. I don't even know where we're at in the lyrics. Where are we? I'm trying to find where we're in the lyrics. If you look away for one second, and I don't know where it's at. Dude, I feel like if I went into a Tokyo, like, nightclub, they would just be, like, crowded together like sardines, going. I'm already calling this one. I'm sorry, uh, Jason. For me, this is the worst one we've had so far. Sounds very typical anime to me. I.e. Pokemon. So Jason actually rates this one almost last too. Why do you rate this one almost last, Jason? Yeah, definitely my least favorite song that we've listened to today. Lower, okay. But you do like it a lot. Obviously, you put it on your set, so. Yeah, me and Omar, pretty much right here and here, man. Okay, sounds like it's fading out. All right. I hope you're happy, Jason, that I went through the extra couple minutes to give you that uh, lyric stuff on there um again it's so hard for me to pay attention to lyrics especially on a first listen um and especially live when i'm trying to comment and stuff like that because then my attention gets focused in most men are not very good at multitasking um i'm okay but i'm not great at it um all right let's get to the next one which is cold rain featuring ryu mayday is the song capital letters for mayday Every time I see Ryu, I think of the, whatever you call it, uh, Street Fighter. <laughs> this song I saved for the last of the main list of songs, as it is A, one of the only fully English songs from a Japanese group. Interesting. B, the hardest out of all the songs. Ooh, the hardest as in like technically hardest. And C, the only one I chose to go with the music video version of which I hope the copyright gods won't smack us down for it. It's probably going to happen if it's anime. Maybe I'll put a uh, filter on it. I hope we don't have to filter it, but just be prepared, Cap. Okay, in case we do, as I think the video should be fine. This song is the intro to the second season of anime Fire Force, made by the same guy who did the anime Soul Eater. In this world, firefighters don't just fight fires, they also fight hellish inferno monsters who were once humans and spontaneously combusted, some even with the ability to fight the monsters using powers over fire themselves. Shinra uh, Kusakabe is a new recruit in the 8th Fire Force company whose task is to find the cause of these terrible incidents 
and hopefully finally stop the terror of fire for all of humanity. I'm telling you, Japanese, dude, the, the, the juxtaposition of like their demeanor and their lack of emotion for everything and then their porn and anime is just so night and day. It's such a funny thing to see. It's like they have to, the energy of creativity has to come out in some way. And Japanese game shows are really fucking funny too. So here we go. Oh shit, I better put the filter on. Nice. Like it so far. It sounds very heavy. This is like a heavy song. I think Scott K would like this. Yeah, definitely. It's because it's like normal. It's like the most normal song we've heard. Uh-oh, warning. Shit. There's the warning. Ugh. Sorry, the warning came up. Dude, This is the most normal song we've heard today, so I'm going to put this first. <laughs> Definitely up cucumbers. Alley. Ooh, check up. That was nice. Why are you rolling your eyes, Jason? God. Good way to put it. Is that why Jason's rolling his eyes? <laughs> I like it. Oh, it's not it's not the English, Jason. I don't give a shit about a different language or not. It's the sound of the song that sounds most normal. I still don't like the Not my thing <laughs> Typical American Yeah, it has nothing to do with it being in English It didn't give a shit It's the least cheesiest of the songs we listen to too That's another part of it It actually has some dick hairs on it I think we're at like 25 dick hairs. All this the growl that you kind of like, huh? Bullet for my Valentine. That's interesting, Colin. I don't know them very well, but I can see that. Like it's done. Yep, uh, uh, as I said, that was definitely my favorite of them. Um, yeah, it sounded the most normal. Sounded like a kind of a like I think that's why Cucumber Macumber liked it because it sounded more like mainstreamish, uh, regardless of the language that it's in. Um, so yeah. I definitely, it's weird that me and Omar are almost like hands on page to page. Um, yeah, so not much else to say about that, but oh, it's interesting Jason has this one first as well. Is it because it sounds more mainstream or 
Why do you like this one the most, Jason? Let us know in the comments as I read this last one. All right, so original artist for this one is Erimachi, Erimachi Masahiko, Masahiko-san. Cover artist, so this is a cover, Trey Watson. I think, have we had Trey Watson? Did you put Trey Watson on here before, or am I just imagining that? This is Through the Night. The song length is very short. This The video is longer, but stop it after the thank you for subscribing pops up. Okay, I'll remember that. Um, as some of you, let me gotta move my microphone. As some of you have heard, I tried to make a lyric video for the original full song, but found the task very difficult as I didn't know what I was doing. Makes sense. I instead felt that this cover, as last time I did these songs, you found the covers to be better, was the best way to get you to experience the song. Sadly, this is the only, this is only the same length of the actual theme song in the anime and not that full song by Trey Watson. But he does an amazing cover of it, so I chose to, to end this set list with the cover, okay? Outlaw Star is an anime often confused with Cowboy Bebop due to its futuristic space travel theme. But that's mostly where the similarities end. The story is about a man named Gene Starwind who longs to travel through space and after taking on an odd job to smuggle a secret package that he finds out to be a woman held in stasis, ends up going on a space adventure to a, uh, for a lifetime, of a lifetime. Uh, piloting the Outlaw Star, a ship in which the woman he found was bio-linked to the computer system of, he sets off to express and protect this very powerful and very valuable ship and his new companion from all those who seek it to take it for themselves. Okay, so I always, I will say this as we wrap up with this last song. I always found it so interesting when I was in Korea and I was on the subway, just how many people on the subway, even older people, I'm talking like men who are wearing suits that are obviously going to work that are probably as old as I am or older than me on their phones just happen to look over and see anime that they're watching or to the comics that they read. It's just such an interesting thing. Now it's not as big. I'm sure when you go to Japan, it's even bigger there. But uh, as you guys probably know or don't know, uh, Japan and Korea don't have a good history They're They don't, they really don't like each other that much. Um, although in, in recent days they're having to come together because everyone's disliking China. Um, and they uh, have this unique relationship, but you'll see Japanese really secretly like K-pop and you'll see uh, Koreans secretly like their, you know, anime and uh, comics. So it's just really interesting, these like indulgences they allow themselves, even though they dislike each other. <laughs> and we're talking mostly governments, not people. I think they don't really give a shit. All right. So, um... Let's get into this. This is Eramachi Masahiko. Trey Watson is the cover artist. Here we go. Don't you break it, don't you fake it, don't you mock it. There's a treasure thing for everyone. And then let it go. Only love it, only dreams. Nice, he's doing everything. I like how he looks at the camera and he's like... Oh, is it? He might be high. Whippets, I haven't heard Whippets in a long time. I bet that guy. Alright. 
I bet that guy loves him some uh, Japanese girls. Or guys. Who knows? Um, yeah, that was a nice little cover. You like that he's playing everything on it. Pretty cool. He's singing, playing guitar and bass. Um, sounds like he had like a drum track behind him. So I doubt he's playing the drums. But nonetheless, um, where would I put that on the list? Um, it's kind of hard. It's really short. How would I, how would I put that on the list? Um, definitely liked it better than five. Uh, let's put it before five, but almost at the end. Mostly because it was too short and, you know. Um, I love, again, that, Jason, you're willing to do sets that maybe not be as popular as other people. Uh, but you did find a couple people in here that do also seem to like it. Um, Scott seems like he has some background in anime, so that's good. Uh, hopefully, it'd be nice to see some... Uh, anime people see this on the channel unless it gets blocked which it probably will i will put into dispute um yeah but it'd be nice to see some anime people come here they're probably not going to like the response because most of us don't like the music and just fans in general of like anime k-pop and stuff like that are not as brutal but they can be close to as brutal as nightwish fans if you don't love it, even if you liked it and you just don't love it, they spaz out. So if you don't like it, they really get angry. So, um, yeah. Uh, tomorrow we have Colin coming up. So Colin, get ready for tomorrow. Again, Colin, read your email because your fifth song is fucked up. So you need to like um, uh, respond to me. Maybe you did. Uh, I do see a one in my inbox. So, um, But if you didn't, you need to respond so that I can fix that for tomorrow. All right, we will see you guys. Um, have a great Saturday, and hopefully I don't come back tomorrow um, upset and sad, but we will see. Um, all right, thanks, Colin. We will see you then. Go Bucks, and thank you, Jason, once again. Later.